early, would you sacrifice graphics if it meant games come out quicker? Yeah. I've said for the last probably like 10 years, graphics are the least important part of games to me now. When I was younger, I cared a lot more. But now, I just care about is the game fun. First and foremost, I don't care how it looks. Like, Rise of the Ronin got shat on because it looked like a PS3 game or whatever, even though it didn't even look that bad. But I had a great time with that game because the gameplay is solid. It's a good game. I'm so tired of, like, the flip-flopping where people are like, graphics don't matter if it's a great game, and then the second a good game comes out with bad graphics, like, ew, PS3, go back to the PS3 era. Hey, nice PS2 game. The Jefferson University 2024 graduation. True. Is there audio? Oh, there we go. Maricillin Rabazin Carr. Victoria Lee Zubacross. What the heck? <laughs> Victoria Elizabeth. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what did she call her? That was like the name of a Vulcan. Huh? Say that again? Wait, I thought it was going to be like a foreign name that she might have got confused on. Maricillin Rabazin Carr. Okay, wait, that was the first one. Second one. Second one. Victoria Lee Zabeth Bross. Lee Zabeth Bross. Okay. Is there some phantom? Elizabeth. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Not what she said. Mylena. Oh, Melanie. This is Elizabeth. Molly. Ha. Molly. Carolina. Urina. Ta Mugme. Thomas. Thomas. What, how is that possible? What? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, that list must be... What is that list? It has to be on purpose, right? I think it's a prime negative. Because she's reading the phonetic spelling, not the names. Is that what the list is? That'd probably trip me up, too. If someone handed me that and they were sounding out Thomas with the phonetics, like, I'd probably be fucked. I'd probably do the same thing. Doom. Ah, damn. Blew it, didn't I? It's Thomas, huh? <laughs> it's their fault the names were complicated. Yeah, like Thomas Michael. <laughs> True. That one, that, that hangs up even like the most literate people. That actually, that legitimately sounded like some kind of breathing art in Demon Slayer. And it's just Stephanie. It has to be on purpose. Alasuna. There's not, there's not even an, there's one A in this word. And it's at the very beginning. How would you get Alasuna? Even in phonetics, that wouldn't even come... This is on purpose. This is absolutely on purpose. She's casting spells. Yeah, true, I guess. That's absolutely fucking on purpose. I think it's a membership, Riley. I guess that's an interesting prank to play on the graduation class. I don't know. Oh, it was the Bambi one? Alright, I'll check it out in a sec. I'd be pissed off. I don't think I'd be mad or anything. I just... I'd be confused. I'd be wondering why... Nah, someone trolling her with the script? I don't think so. I, it, it's just definitely on purpose. My sister actually looked into this. It's apparently not her fault. She was given cards by the school on how to pronounce the names phonetically, which would make Thomas written out... to mu <laughs> Something like that. She apologized too, I think. Yeah, but I mean, even if you... Okay, if you do it phonetically for Allison, you're not gonna get Alisuna, I don't think. This is actually real. The university actually posted a Twitter apology. Hey, let me see. Well, who is it? Thomas Jefferson University. We apologize for fucking up everyone's name. But man, what a great memory we made together, huh? Thomas Jefferson University apologizes for commencement presenter butchering graduates' names. TJU said an issue with the phonetic spelling on cards led to the mispronunciations. Even Thomas, yeah, even Thomas, which is part of the school's name. <laughs> oh, true. Even Thomas, which is part of the school's name. I didn't even think about that. To May May, she began to say for nursing grad Thomas Michael Canavari, who can be heard shouting Thomas to correct her. 
I really feel like why even give them the phonetic cards? Just have them look at the the monitor. Like if you just looked at Sarah, even if you let, let's say you never saw these words. Great, I love that that just popped up a giant white box. Let's just say you've never seen these words before, these names you've never once heard. You could probably just eyeball it and kind of sound them out. Marissa. Lynn. Like, you could... I don't know. She would have fared far better if they just let her look at that. Young Sheldon is ending next week. Don't they already have another Sheldon series cooked up? It's not actually the end. Do you see the video of the Garfield movie fight that happened recently? Dude got his ass beat. At a Garfield movie? Professional boxer beats up moviegoer during Garfield. <laughs> what in tarnation? What happened? Dude said, I hate lasagna. And the boxer's like, no. Not on my watch. <laughs> what led to this? Well, I gotta find the, the raw video. Okay, I think this is it. Estaba proyectando una película infantil cuando un hombre la emprendía a gritos contra su expareja. Todas esas imágenes y me pone un nudo en el estómago que yeah. no veas, ¿sabes? Okay, I need to find a different upload of that video. <laughs> That's still on. I didn't even know the Garfield movie was out. ¿Sabes qué? Yo no sé esto que va a venir bien. ¿Qué me va a venir bien? Todo esto. Vamos a robar un camión lleno de leche para pagar a una gata pirada. Depending on how bad he gets his ass beat, I don't know if I can show it, so I'm, I'm pre-watching it just to make sure it's safe. Because with the way you described it, it's making me feel like it's going to be a rock'em sock'em robot where his whole fucking head shoots up. Oh, God. Well, that wasn't even close. Not a single child here at this Garfield movie, by the way. <laughs> Actually, not a single kid. Yeah, probably can't show that. But that man, fuck it here. He handed him his lasagna, I'll tell you that much. That was a smackdown. Like, just look at the way he approaches him, too. I'm running. If a guy's approaching me like that, so casual about this, like, fisticuffs, I'm like, this guy knows his shit. I'm gonna get my teeth slapped in. I'm out. I disengage. I'll throw, like, a smoke bomb and disappear. I'm from Colombia. They were mad because they got the Spanish dub and not Chris Pratt Garfield. So why are these two fighting? It's not like this guy was the one that... Or th it's not like this guy was the one who decided not to put the Chris Pratt Garfield on screen. Why would they fight about it? We wanted Chris Pratt, boo! Hey, shut up. He's doing his best. What did you say, punk? Thanks, you said Pyro and Lewis. That's probably what it was, Ashton. But now uh, he gets fucking smacked. He wails on him. Thanks, Risa Beva. Now the story is the guy who got knocked was yelling at his wife in front of everyone. Oh, so a justified beatdown type deal then? So that's the hero? Okay, let's read actually. Everything was chaos and a disaster. He started to threaten me and it got worse and worse until I decided to go down to where he was sitting. I couldn't control myself and what you see in the video happened. Okay, I missed like the entire first part. I thought that's where it started. This is not what happened. Two men were not trading blows. One man was hitting like a lifeless body after the first five hits. I'll just describe it to you since there's no way I can play it on YouTube. This guy walks up to him. They both throw up a set. And then immediately, this guy tries to throw a strike. It's a wet noodle. This guy brings out the big boy mitts and hits him with his lunchbox hands. And then he immediately flattens down and goes like kind of fetal while still on his feet. And he just continues to just rampage. He even throws in a knee. Hits him with a fucking knee, too, and it was just over. Wasn't even close. He's a six-time national amateur champion who turned pro last year. And the brawl was sparked by threats from another audience member. What were the threats about? 
I apologized in the cinema and publicly because those images do not make me proud. What is shown in that video is not who I am. I would try, if the same thing happened again, to get the security come in and take him away. If security had come on time, many things could have been avoided. Yeah, that guy could have avoided the, the CTE. I really wonder what... So, it, whatever you were saying about it not being Chris Pratt voice, I don't know why I believed you. But that seems to be a lie. They are apparently... This guy was apparently launching threats? Why, though? Did he forget to turn off his phone? Like, I don't understand. So now I've seen three people say that. He was allegedly choking his wife and attacked a little girl in the theater, too. These stories get... So it started with he was yelling at his wife, and now it's... He was choking his wife and attacked a little girl. I need to look at other articles here. I don't know what to believe. Next is gonna be he smuggled in, like, a fucking bomb. And this guy not only beat his ass with his frying pans that he was throwing at his face, but then also defused the bomb in time. The red thread about OJ did not even touch on the lead of OJ's son, Jason. Did you miss it? Well, because there's just nothing real of substance to it. <laughs> it's, it's just not really... It's, it's nothing. I don't know if you've looked into it, but the Jason stuff is a dead end of nothing. And we did mention it briefly, super briefly. I imagine if it was a lie, this guy probably would have come forward and been like, No, he just beat my ass for no reason. He, this guy hates Mondays. Fuck. I wish I didn't see Garfield. Though he's probably still, he's... I bet if this guy makes a video, like if he posts a TikTok, he'll be like in a neck brace. <laughs> so, I bet you're wondering how I got here. So I went to Garfield, right? It didn't go as planned. Could a movie theater, could movie theater brawlers survive a Waffle House fight? No, absolutely not. I mean, this guy could, but on the whole, no. No shot. And yeah, we did a, we watched the whole documentary on Elon School a long time ago. I don't know if we do a red thread on it. It's been covered, like, by a lot that I've seen already. And yeah, we talked about the emotional support alligator Wally being kidnapped already. Well, stolen for a prank. Which is really sad, because it's, you know, he's 100% not coming back. Well, actually, this one might be. This one's from Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, they played this at the beginning of uh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2. That's right, I remember this now. Why do people make the fake trailers? Get views from it. What's the premise? Is it something dumb like Bambi hunting the man who killed his mom? No idea. It's too early. I don't think they've released anything about this story. But it's gonna be like Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Just very simple, silly, stupid shit. We playing anything tonight? Tonight I was gonna play through Animal Well, but for some reason Steam wasn't letting me buy it. So I was just shooting the shit. And I'll just play Animal Well next time. I think Superman's suit is fine. And then after that I want to do Crow Country. Because this game looks really cool. So I definitely want to try Crow Country after Animal Well. Then after Anim or after Crow Country... Either Shipwreck or Abiotic Factor with Jackson and Connor. Why not play Coke? Why not play Crow Country now or use PS5 for Animal Well? I do not feel like setting up the PS5 for Animal Well. I'm just going to wait for Steam to work, which will hopefully be tomorrow. And I, I, I don't know. Don't feel like starting Crow Country and then stopping to do Animal Well when I really want to do Animal Well. Yeah, I made a video on the K. Dot Drake beef. We even just made a whole three hour and fifteen minute red thread deep dive on the Kendrick vs. Drake beef. I'm super fucking invested in it. Drake is getting absolutely washed. <laughs> and no, I have not seen it a la carte, but I know about like the uh, the G5 whatever. No, wait, no, 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 no. They, they just they just reported on more information from the one we already saw yesterday. It was the one in Senegal. The one that skidded off the runway. Exerisa brand. Exerisa membership Perez. And Spret. The Ritual? No, what is that? There's a Deep Woken lore video for speedruns. I do love speedrun lore videos. 
And yeah, I have seen that, Pierre, yeah. I'm pretty sure we watched that on stream a long time ago. Do they not have a trailer? How'd they get word out about it? Well, let's watch some of the Do Alpha Rad's video here. Me on a, ooh, free revive. Oh, okay, so now Marsh, to Marsh Togatito is evolving into Marsh, Marsh Togato? Is that what we're doing? Right? No. Okay. Yeah, yeah. From little guys to... Uh, right, you can stay. Ooh, wait, catch. Okay, well, I don't think that. Oh, members. Oh, give me one second. Get, okay, give me one second. One second, okay? Okay, I, I know this so is. So is it all battle. just battles? Okay, give me one second. I'll be, I'll be right back. All right, all right. It's Skeleturge o'clock, baby. I don't know if I ever played this. Welcome to Pokey of the Mall, where Ouch. today we're going to be spending 100 in on which to Pokemon have a higher through them curve. Next up is going to be Alum again. Nations. After finishing things on Mount Pyre, we head over to Lily Cove City, and before we do anything, we actually evolve Curlia into none else. I haven't been Gardevoir. bowling much recently. Now that we've got on the squad, we're ready to take ready on May, and I'm gonna be real, this battle was in in into the straw. Yeah, I don't know anything about Poké MMO. I'm sorry to hear that, Anonymous. Hope tomorrow's better. I'm playing Gears 3 next week. I might... I've just still got so many other games that I gotta play for, or that I wanna play first, not gotta play. I guess I don't have to play them, but I want to. It's not like Gears 3 is going anywhere. Thanks to be some obsessed.